My daughter Ellie was diagnosed with leukemia in May of 2013. In the months leading up to the diagnosis, Ellie was constantly complaining of leg pain and fevers. She was crying a lot, she was unhappy. The doctors said that they thought we should get some blood work done and um, I didn't really know what that meant, uh, but I thought that was a good idea because we couldn't figure out what was happening. And Sunday morning the doctor called us and said, we think your daughter has leukemia and we need her to go to the emergency room right away. Pack your bags, you're gonna be there for a while. Ellie was and still is a very, very spunky, amazing girl. She's very creative. She sees beauty in everything. She's an artist. And then after she was diagnosed, they started intensive chemotherapy right away. And I mean, honestly, it was the medicine, but she just wasn't herself. And she had a very blank look in her face. She laid on the couch all the time. She cried a lot. We had a really difficult time getting her to take her medicines. It was just, it was a really, really rough time for us as parents to see our daughter going through something that we weren't really sure how to fix because for a four and a half year old, that's a really, really difficult thing to try to explain and to try to get her on board with saving her own life, even though she doesn't actually know her life is in danger. Once she reached a certain point in her treatment, her chemotherapy lightened up a lot and we started seeing little signs of Ellie reappear. She would jump up, I remember one afternoon, she jumped up from the couch and she did this little dance to this TV show and my husband caught it on, on camera and we both just wept and just cried because we hadn't seen her do anything like that or express any kind of emotion or excitement in, a, in months. Um, and it was beautiful and it allowed us to know that that she's going to be okay and that she's going to pull through this. So my daughter Ellie, even before she was diagnosed with cancer, she always loved to wear hats. As a child, she was one who, you know, always wanted to have a hat on her head every time we would go outside. And she has always loved hats. And so when, when she started to lose her hair, my husband and I were very concerned about what, what it was gonna look like for her and like how she was gonna feel as a kindergartner starting with no hair. And she, she just started wearing hats. And every day I would pick her up from school. And so in the afternoon, Jay Coakley leaned in my car. He was helping Ellie get in. He said, hey, I wanna get Ellie some more hats. And I was like, okay, that's awesome. That would be great, she loves hats. Ellie, when she came to Woodburn, she had no hair, so every day she had on a different hat, and she always had these unique hats. In a kiss and ride, I was always help her in the car and always comment on one of her crazy hats that she had. And as it was getting close to Christmas, I thought, I wanna get that little girl some hats. So I went home, told my wife, and we ordered a couple hats on Etsy. I put a post up on Facebook, telling friends and family, and I ended up with 20 or 30 hats. So we decided to try to reach out and see how many hats we could get. He called me and he said, so I've got like a hundred hats. And I was like, well, Ellie doesn't need a hundred hats. What if we took them to the Christmas party? And so it happened to be in December when there was gonna be a big Christmas party with all of the oncology patients in the area. And he started collecting more hats. And so we went to the party and there was a great big bin of beautiful, fun hats for these kids. And you know, it was just, it was really fun to see kids pulling through the hats and looking and trying them on and showing their moms. And um, it, was, it was a really, really fun time. And when we were leaving, Ellie, I had told her, I said, you see that bin over there? That's the hat, those are the hats that Mr. Coakley helped collect for you and your friends. And so she looked at him and she looked at the kids that were there and um, she looked at me and she put her hand in my hand and we walked out and she goes, mom, I think they really, really 